Harry Potter Wizards Unite is the new augmented reality game from Niantic, the company that made Pokemon Go such a global phenomenon a few years ago. Our wizarding community is at risk of exposure. Traces of magic are appearing all over the muggle world. Niantic has pioneered a new kind of video game, one that combines the virtual world and the physical one. Great! I've rescued a small cat. I've got one! So it's a goblin. You have to draw a squiggle on the screen to cast the spell accurately, so there is somewhat degree of skill involved. Whereas Pokemon Go sent people scurrying around cities in search of monsters, this time Harry Potter is recruiting wizards to go in search of fragments and magical artifacts, bringing some of Harry Potter's best-loved characters from the J.K. Rowling universe into the real world. It's doing that with a combination of smartphones and sensors, with maps and location tracking, and with AI-powered cameras. And then we go off hunting again. Right, where's the next one? Young Hogwarts students walking the streets. Over the last couple of years, Apple and Google have built AR technology into hundreds of millions of smartphones. And that's made it far easier for less technical companies like Ikea or Nike to build AR apps that let people try on a virtual sofa or a virtual pair of trainers. Baby Hippogriff. How many of those to the dozen? Augmented reality has become a top priority for Silicon Valley companies including Apple, Snap, Microsoft and Facebook, who are all hoping that one day smart glasses and ubiquitous computing might supersede the smartphone. But so far, no AR app has achieved the kind of worldwide impact that Pokemon Go did, and that was three years ago. Maybe that could change with Harry Potter sprinkling a little bit of his magic to show the latest innovations in augmented reality. Apps like Wizards Unite and Microsoft's forthcoming AR game, Minecraft Earth, provide a testbed for new technologies such as computer vision and scene awareness. So in the not too distant future, we could see characters like a goblin interacting with real objects around them by jumping on top of a lamppost or climbing a tree. Despite the billions of dollars that Silicon Valley is investing into augmented reality, it still isn't clear if this is a bold leap into a new dimension or just a blind alley.